I solved this problem earlier 2 raised to 1003 divided by 25 what is the remainder now the same problem I'll be uh, solving using Euler's uh, theorem so uh, we have to find out the Euler number for 25 so 25 into 4 by 5 right 1 minus 1 by 5 5 is the only factor of 25 so it's 20 Right. So Euler number uh, 2 and 25 are co-prime to each other and the Euler number is 20. So what we can do? Um, 1003, I just keep 2 raised to 3 aside and 2 raised to 1000. 1000 is multiple of 20. Okay, 50 times. Now in this case the remainder is 1, 2 raised to 20 when divided by 25 the remainder is 1 and 1 raised to 50 the final remainder will be 1. Now we are left with just 2 raised to 3 so that's it. Okay so we have already got the answer. Uh, now we have two different methods to solve the same problem. Okay you can go this way or this way. So sometimes if the power is difficult or very big or uh, uh, the numbers this number and the the this number the divisor if they are co-prime to each other you can use even Euler's function to solve the problem okay now we say this 3 raised to 340 divided by 341 3 plus 1 4 minus 4 0 that means uh, 341 is multiple of 11 so it is precisely 31 into 11 okay now 31 and 11 both of them are prime numbers so 3 raised to 30 when divided by 31 remainder will be 1 so this is precisely 3 raised to 30 11 times okay right so it is basically 330 so we are left with the 3 raised to 10 okay so 3 raised to 340 reduced to 3 raised to 10 from 31 mm, now just write uh, 3, I just take it separate, 3 cube, 3 cube and 3 cube, right, 27, 27, 27, so minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, right, from 31, so 3 times minus 4 I can take over here, 4, 4's are 16, 4's are 64, so 31, 2's are 62, so 2, 2 into 3 6 precisely minus 6 so 31 minus 6 that means 25 is the remainder so 3 raised to 340 divided by 31 25 is the remainder that means it is in 31 X plus 25 format from 11 further 3 raised to 11 sorry 10 and uh, 34 divided by 11 the remainder is 1 okay three ra uh, this is 340 completely and 3 raised to 10 divided by 11 remainder will be 1 according to Fermi's theorem so f uh, 1 uh, raised to 34 the final remainder is 1 so it is 11 y plus 1 format so now we have to find out a number 31 that is in 31 x plus 25 format and 11 y plus 1 format you can uh, make the calculation simple because you want just one number that satisfy both the uh, expressions right so you can equate the expression so 31x plus 25 is equal to 11y plus 1 so y will be 31x plus 24 by 11 so if I put x is 1 so that is 31 plus 24 55 by 11 that means y is equal to 5 right so 11y that is 55 plus 1 that is 56 so 56 is in 31 x plus 25 format and 11 y plus 1 format that means if 3 raised to 340 divided by 341 the remainder will be 56 okay I hope you are clear now we see a different problem over here 5 raised to 99 divided by 66 uh, now what is the difference over here say so far we have done the problems on remainders when we were easily getting the relationship between these two okay but over here it's a bit different right 5 and 66 uh, the relationship is not that direct so what we have to do we have to find out a direct relationship now the very first step is uh, 
see this number 66 over here it is not a prime number but we can break it up right so first of all you need to make a, a you need to make factors of 66 which are co-prime to each other not necessarily to be prime but the factor should be co-prime to each other right so the factors of 66 are 11 and 6 here 6 is not prime 11 is prime but 6 and uh, 11 they are co-prime to each other okay so the very first step is just factorize this number uh, into co-prime factors okay so that's 11 and 6 now 5 raised to 99 divided by 11 what is the remainder and 5 raised to 99 divided by 6 what is the remainder so you have to find out the remainder in each case okay now from 5 to 6 the relationship is very easy because 5 can be written as 6 minus 1 raised to 99 5 raised to 99 can be written as 6 minus 1 raised to 99 so remainder will be minus 1 raised to 99 so I can say minus 1 right so 5 raised to 99 can be written as multiple of 6 minus 1 because if 5 raised to 99 is divided by 6 the remainder is minus 1 okay so that means it is in 6x minus 1 format so 6x minus 1 that means if you divided uh, divide 6x minus 1 by 6 you will be getting minus 1 as the remainder right so 5 raised to 99 is in 6x minus 1 format okay similarly we have to find out uh, the relationship between 5 raised to 99 and 11 now you can reduce the number uh, like 5 raised to 99 I can write down it as 125 raised to 33 okay 125 raised to 33 so that's 5 cube and 99 I divided by 3 see each and every step you don't have to write just for your reference uh, for your practice only I'm writing down them over here otherwise no need to write now when 125 is divided by 11 the remainder will be 4 right precisely in this case it will be 4 raised to 33 or I can say 2 raised to 66 okay 4 raised to 33 2 raised to 66 now when we come to 2 now the problem becomes easy because in 2's power there is a number that is 32 which is closer which is having just difference of 1 from 11's multiple okay so 2 raised to 66 I can write down 2 raised to 65 into 2 which is 32 raised to or uh, 2 raised to 5 is 32 so it's a uh, 65 divided by 5 13 okay so this is converted to this okay now 32 raised to 13 when 32 is divided uh, 32 can be written as 33 minus 1 so 33 minus 1 raised to 13 I write for you no need to write though so 33 minus 1 raised to 13 when it is divided by 11 the remainder will be minus 1 minus 1 raised to 13 that is minus 1 and this minus 1 into this 2 the final remainder is minus 2 that means this number is in 11 y minus 2 format okay do not take x once again because x the value of x and y may be different okay obviously they will be different so this number 5 raised to 99 is in 6x minus 1 format and 11 y minus 2 format now by hit and trial you have to put up the values of y and you have to get uh, the you have to put up the values of x and y and you have to find at which point you get the same value and that value will be your answer okay so since 11 is this this is bigger number obviously it will be below 66 so this since this is bigger number I just put up the values of y over here and get uh, three four values so the very first one y if I put y as 1 so I'll be getting 9 11 2's are 22 so 20 okay now out of this which one of them is in 6x minus 1 format so 53 is in 6x minus 1 format because 6 9's are 54 okay other numbers are not there in 6x uh, minus 1 format so 53 is the correct answer because that is in 6x minus 1 format and 11y minus 2 format so when 5 raised to 99 is divided by 66 your remainder will be 53 
okay when i'm explaining it to you it is taking huge time because for the first time you are uh, doing this sort of problems probably uh, but once you practice with these sort of questions you'll be able to do these sort of problems in just uh, maybe one or maybe one and a half minute not more than that so break the number into its factors which are co prime to each other and uh, find the remainder in individual cases and then find out the common values like this okay so i hope this is clear to you let's go uh, to the next